increasing funding to enable the Social Security Administration to restore better services to SSI applications, applicants and recipients? Yes. F, do you support eliminating the windfall exemption provision so that all workers who paid into Social Security get the full amount of benefits they earn? Yes. And the government pension offset too. I find it outrageous that people who earned their benefits get cheated out of them just because they have worked hard and planned for their retirement. They paid it in, they earned it, they deserve it. Two, how would you put Medicare on stronger financial footing and protect today's seniors and future beneficiaries from rising health care costs? See my budget. Do you support efforts to expand Medicare for everyone from a cradle to grave? Yes. <coughs> and my budget funds it. Do you support legislation that would allow Medicare to negotiate for lower and fair drug prices? Yes. And strengthen the powers of the Treasury, uh, FDA, and Medicare to hold hearings to identify price gouging for a specific drug, identify a reasonable retail price for that drug, and then take, through eminent domain, the right to manufacture and sell that drug for the valuation based on that price, and allow Medicare to negotiate price with medical devices, equipment, CAT scans or MRI scans, and so on. C, do you support efforts to expand Medicare coverage to include long-term care, both home and community-based care, as well as institutional care, dentistry, podiatry, vision, and so on? That's one of the big complaints I hear at front doors. Yes, and also cover bathroom, durable medical equipment. Thank you very much. Three, what do you anticipate will be the three most important senior issues you will face if elected? And what actions do you propose to take to address them? One, getting anything done, which will require intense cooperation and trading for sponsorship of bills and votes. Unfortunately, we would like that second guy now. Two, keeping them from taking the money they should spend on people and instead spending it on war, which is what they've been doing. They call it defense, and that's another problem. Change the name back to the War Department like it used to be when we were young. Because nobody objects to cutting war, but everybody objects to cutting defense. And we already have a defense department. It's called Homeland Security. It should be an easy choice. Spend it on our own people or spend it on war. And their choice of war has been morally outrageous. Number three, Trump. I hope to be able to vote for the impeachment. Here are some more directly off my web website, and I'm obviously going to run out of time. Social Security. Increase, that is to say, scrap the limits on the amount retirees can earn without adversely affecting their Social Security. Restore Social Security Retirement Act to 60, age to 65. Reverse the Immigrant Social Security Confiscation Amendment. Adopt the Multiple Sclerosis Anti Discrimination Social Security Act. Approve federal response and nurturing, including disability assistance programs for wasting diseases such as Huntington's, ALS, MS, systemic scleroderma, and so on. These are diseases where the diagnosis doesn't come until after you've lost the qualification for your SSDI. Support HR 3118, Senate 557, Linda Sanchez and Tom Hartman, Strengthen the Social Security Act of 2013. On specific bills, I have to go look them up each time for discussion so I keep this long list to help me do that.